Are you ready, Miss TG? Right, all right, let's cut this off. And I'm really excited about this uh, because it's not what it seems. It might look like a grow stand for your plants, and it certainly works well like that, but it started off with something different. See, I started working with these connections from MakerPipe. I'll put their link down in the description, and I was messing around. Remember a couple of months ago, I showed you these connections and I was thinking of something to build and you guys told me a few different things, gave me a bunch of different ideas and we got down to either building a ladder system or a table. All right. So I built that and I'm filming it right now. I'm editing it. So I'm going to make that. So I had these extra pieces left over and my wife yesterday was our anniversary. And I said, what do you want for your anniversary? And she said that she's been looking at the stand to work her overhead camera. And she's got her channel, it's called Random Rock Paints. And uh, I'll put her channel down below or up here or something. But if you like it, you know, go check out Random Rock Paints. She paints a bunch of little koi rocks and, and different seasons, you know, Easter and St. Patrick's Day and things. And, and she paints them and people love them. She sells it on Etsy and, and it's really cool. So um, she needs some cool overhead shots. And we had this arm or something that we had got offline and uh, or online rather, and it didn't hold the camera really well, and it didn't move around. Uh, it, it was really hard for her to work with. And she saw this big frame, and she just said it was too expensive. She didn't feel like paying that much for it. And me being a carpenter, I said, "Well, I'll just get some two by fours and build your frame and 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 uh, put your camera on there." And she said that she wanted to have it where she could move it because sometimes we shoot out here in the studio and sometimes when it gets too hot or the lighting's wrong we shoot inside and, and she has a desk area so she wanted something that was portable and that really wasn't you know easy for her to move something that big around so i'm building this thing out in the garden and you guys right now go down in the comments and, and remember that video where we said we we're going to build either a ladder system or a table i built one of them to start off with uh, let me know in the comments which one you think I built. And then uh, that video, I'm editing it right now. That one's going to be coming out. Anyhow, so I built that out in the garden. And I had some pieces left over from the ones that uh, MakerPipe had sent me. And I had one piece of EMT conduit, three-quarter inch EMT conduit. I have one piece of that left too. So I decided I'll just make you one. And and she was like, really? I, I was like, yeah, it shouldn't be no problem because I just made this thing for the hydroponics and it blew my mind how easy it was putting it together. Let me move this out of the way because a lot of things like you guys have seen my ladder system where we put the, the plants on it, right? And I have that set up and we have to get out the chop saw. We have to cut angles. Everything's gotta be cut, cut at an angle, drill holes and, and, and everything. So you gotta get all your tools out. And um, if I build a platform to put everything on, you know, or the handrail, you know, there's there's always some kind of construction that goes on. This, I went to go build this out in the garden, and I literally built it with this tube cutter. If you guys don't know what this is, it's to cut pipe. This one's made especially for the harder materials, like the EMT pipe. They've got a smaller one that's used for like copper for the copper tubing that goes into your your plumbing and that copper is a little softer so if you cut something like this make sure that you get the one that's for emt pipe but with just this little pipe and a tape measure and a, a marker really i put this thing together well i put this thing together and the thing in the garden so i, I put that thing together in the garden and it was that easy and i was like yeah i can build something i you know it was simple it's really easy you just get it, take your pipe, slide it in, make sure it sits down inside. There's like two wheels down on the bottom and then your cutting wheel up on top and you just spin this and tighten it up a little. You don't want to make it really tight where it's hard to move. And you're just going to take it and spin it like that. Tighten it a little more, spin it, tighten it a little more, spin it, right? And then some of you, like I said, if you're um, getting to where it's, it's hard to hold on to something, and and spin this too if you need a little more leverage you can always like get a set of vice grips let me see if i can get this on there i think this will work tighten 
it up so it doesn't slip. All right, so you can always get your set of vice grips and then tighten this down a little, right? Spin it around, tighten, spin. And sometimes you can go around twice until it feels like it's kind of loose. You'll feel it once it cuts, then it's a little easier to move, right? So if you have to go around a couple times, you can tighten it a little more. See how easy that was? So if, if you have a hard time holding on to the pipe, just use something like that. The little vice grips will hold on to it. You know, if you're worried about if you're going to paint this to make it look nice, then you might want to put a little piece of cloth or something in there so you don't scratch it. This is just our work stuff. So, I, you know, I'm not really caring. You know, it's not the best stuff in the world. You know, EMT pipe, you know, they, they're, it's not meant for looks. It's usually going to be hidden inside of a wall. So if you need to use something like that, it's no big deal. But you saw how easy that was to, to cut. Even if, even if you can't grip it hard enough, just that and something like this and you can build uh something like this you don't need a big chop saw and you don't need all the big heavy tools so awesome little product so within an hour i went on over got out my little tube cutter cut the pieces that i had left i had one 10 foot piece and a one section that was 30 inches long that i used right here and then the rest of this i cut out of a 10 foot piece and within an hour i cut all the pieces and figured it out did the math and, and put put this together and it's awesome because it's nice and sturdy. It's portable. It's really light. I mean, it's probably only weighs a couple of pounds and um, it's adjustable. So one thing working with her camera when she's got her um, stuff that she's painting her rocks and she's got this camera up here. I got this little mount. I, I knew that she had this mount that fits on three quarter inch pipe. So we already knew she had that. It's adjustable. It fits like three quarter inch up to an inch and a quarter. But it fits on a pipe and has a little quarter 20 screw on it to go in the bottom of your cameras so it fits perfect on here for her overhead shot and if she needs to get in closer all we have to do is get an allen wrench loosen up these two little bolts right here and this thing slides down so that works great for your plant stand too because if you guys recognize these are the grow lights that we were talking about a few videos ago these are the ones that LED grow lights and then I just put them on these little clamp holders and these things work perfect because it just clamps onto this three quarter inch pipe. I ran the electrical cord down the sides and just zip tied them on. I've got a big bunch. We use a lot of zip ties in this house. So I got a bunch of them and just zip tied it on and this works really well. You got your grow lights there clicks on and off or they can be together down here. You can put it on a timer. Um, if you start off with your microgreens, you can loosen this up, pull it down here, it'll be nice and low. And then all you have to do as your plants start to grow is just loosen up those two bolts and just move it up. You might need somebody to do one side when you do the other side or take your lights off and then move it and then clamp your lights back on. You don't have to zip tie them up like this. I just like to make things tidy. Um, it, it's really simple and, and versatile. So this thing is put together with these little fixtures that came from maker pipe and we'll bring you in for close-up and I'll show you how they go together and how they clamp on you just put them put them on here they interlock in the back and basically once you get them interlocked in the back you grab them in the front and, they, and it holds on and then all you have to do is slip through one of your bolts and then you get one of your um, nuts screws on the other side and the bolts have little ridges on it so it's nice and easy to spin hand tight and you can hang hand tighten it until it, it's going to just stay there by itself let's see if i get it pretty much with one hand so then you get it on there like that and then all you have to do is come back with your allen wrench which came with the set and you come in here and just tighten this up like that and it's not going to go anywhere I really like these they work really well they've got this is a 45 degree one where your pipe comes in at a 45 degree angle you can take this and put this on here for bracing if you're going to put something a little more heavy up here if you want to hang your plants from here and actually make this sturdy you can actually put bracing in between of here with the 45s they've got these 90 degree angles that's what i used on the corner they've got t's 
which I've used here to go up. So there's a T right there. And then you've got the little end ones where all they do is just clamp on the end. So I've got this one bar here and these just clamp on the end. And that's what makes this adjustable up and down. Now, the other thing that I went and did was I got these um, just little sticky pads. And I haven't stuck them on yet. I just have them under here to kind of just level it out and make sure it's not going to scratch the table. Here's This is our workstation. If you've just got it like in your garage or, or out on a porch, you might not have to worry about it. But if you have it like on your nice table, you might want to put some little rubber pads down underneath of it. And then I got this is the little um, chair tips. It's the little thing to go on the feet of your chair so it doesn't mess up the floor. And I put them on this here just so Keely doesn't have a sharp edge. You know, there's the two pipes that were here. So she doesn't hit it with her arm and, and scrape it. So I just put those on there. Uh, if I had more pipe, this is just what I had left over, right? And I just made it. If I had more pipe, what I might do is actually cut a few feet like this and have a 90 coming out both these back ends with a little foot and then put feet over here and then you could take those put this on those right and then you'd have an adjustable foot because then this you can loosen and tighten that and you can move it up and down and then you can get it where it's just right so if you're putting your plants on there you want to get it leveled out right you've got four different spots that you can level it or if you're trying to get your camera just right um, if it's just used for lights doesn't really matter it can be a little off and you know the lights are still going to go down right but if you're trying to get your plants in there and get them leveled that might be the way to go is to just put a little adjustable foot one two three four and have it where you can move it get it just right get your little allen wrench tighten it down you're set so that's cool if you guys like that go check out maker pipe i'll put the link down in the description and if you're excited to see what we've got going on in the garden which is a lot bigger than this remember this is the leftover pieces so this is just what's left over we've got something really cool going on in the garden and i'm editing that video right now make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that oh and i'm not dressed up like mr hyde right now my wife and i were filming a short film the last couple of weeks and we we're always in costume so i just went ahead and did the videos for you guys because it doesn't matter what i look like right it just matters the, the what information i can pass off to y'all so i figured y'all didn't mind and we just had a little fun we had a lot of fun with it if you want to check it out if you're into like uh science fiction or drama or westerns spaghetti westerns and stuff like that we made a little short film and i'll link that down in the description below go check that out that's we had lots of fun with it and mr hyde might be back i think he might come back in the mornings and, and fix some smoothies with y'all or something like that but uh anything to have a little fun right get out there like you guys always do you're just so wonderful sharing it with everybody knock off my light just lift inspire keep on growing be the change. We'll catch you next time. Where is he? 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 Stay. Stay. Sit. Look. What do you say? Stay.